Today, I broke down and told my dad how I'm still a virgin. I'm 28. I explained to him how no girls want me or show any interest in me. He just says, I'm sure you'll find someone, Anon, and ends the conversation. Honestly, I feel like God has really treated me unfairly my whole life, and now I think it's high time that he mends his transgressions. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to sit at a park bench and eat some cotton candy and drink Mexican Coca-Cola while listening to circus music. As atonement for my needless suffering, I expect God to spawn in someone who looks like pick related and get them to walk up to me out of nowhere and sit next to me. We will flirt and chat together and take a walk while holding hands. This person will decide to live with me, and we will fall in love together. I expect this person to be 100% compatible with my personality, and we will live the rest of our lives together happily ever after. If this person doesn't arrive tomorrow, I can assure you that when I die, God will beg for my forgiveness. Oh my god. <laughs> How do we make femboys more accessible for the straight crowd? There's a huge portion of straight men who would love a submissive bitch like that, but they'll never give it a chance because of stigma. One of my friends summarized it pretty good. I wouldn't mind trying, but nobody could ever know about this, and I'd hate the stress of hiding my relationships. How do we make gay sex more accessible for straight people? What? Watching boyfriend play a video game. He dies a lot on this one hard level. He heaves a sigh at one point. I get irritated by the change in mood and snap at him. Don't you sigh. It's just a video game. Jesus, learn some emotional maturity. It will go a long way. Boyfriend says, fuck off. I tell him fine, but I might not come back. Have fun crying over video games like a five-year-old. I hear him say to himself, holy shit, she's a bitch. After I close the door, I break down crying. Holy shit, you're a bitch. Valentine's Day, alone. Take myself out to eat because I like going to different restaurants and trying new foods. I know it'll be crowded, but decide I don't care. Seated pretty fast since I'm alone. See some guy around my age at the next table over having dinner with his parents. Suddenly feel a spark of hope. Maybe this isn't all bad. That guy is here. In my mind, he is my best friend. Imagine walking up and talking to him. Imagine having a drink with him and talking about our lives. Hear him talking to parents. He's talking about his GF and how much he loves her. Says how sad he is that she's stuck at work. Feel worse than I did at home. This time I'm really gonna do it. My crush hasn't been online for four hours now on Facebook. On Valentine's Day. She's getting fucked, isn't she? She's always online other than when she's sleeping. Be me. Horny as fuck. Also autistic and a little bit retarded. Decide to contact a Japanese seedless stage actress who's in her 30s, almost 40. Finally dig her contact email after two hours. I tell her that I'm a huge fan of hers, and I would love to send her pics of me jerking off to her pictures, and that it would be very secretive since I'd worry that it, this could tarnish her reputation, and that my desire for her is too great. Press send. Post nut clarity hits. End up feeling a little bit embarrassed after doing that. Brush it off thinking that nothing will happen anyway. Three days later today, I receive an email that I don't recognize. It's all written in Japanese. I copy all that and paste it on Google Translate. It's from the same actress saying that she accepts but will not reply to my emails anymore despite creating a fake one. And that I should send the pics to this email instead of her real one. She fucking accepted. Should I ignore her or do I go on with this? My heart is racing a lot. Shit, I wasn't expecting that. Wake up. Regular day on Valentine's Day. Get a call from my online girlfriend. She tells me how much she loves me and wishes we lived closer. I love her. I wish we lived closer. Lust provoking image. Irrelevant, time wasting question. Great thread, OP. Here's how it actually went, OP. She wakes up next to a chat. Valentine's Day. Has to call a cuck from across the world. Oh, Anon, I love you so much. Chad gets angry. She immediately sucks his dick and praises him while shit-talking OP. OP, not the wiser, clings on to childish fantasies. I just had sex in VR chat with my long-distance trans GF Anon. What did you do on Valentine's Day? This is fucking unreal. Sex, gay, in VR chat, double gay, long distance, triple gay, trans, G, F, quadruple gay. IDK, why you guys are so against this, you should try getting your dick sucked in VR. It's ridiculously easy. I don't want to get my dick sucked by a dude. Try getting your dick sucked in VR? Put me in the screenshot. You ain't getting your dick sucked in- Those are pixels. <laughs> this- jerking off to a man pretending to be a cute anime girl. Embarrassing. Truly embarrassing. Be me in 2011. 12 years old. Valentine's Day. Didn't get any Valentine's cards at school. Come home. Get off the school bus and go inside. Box of chocolates on my bed with a note from my dad. Says he loves me and is proud of me. Thanks, Dad. 
Remember a furry artist I really liked. Check on him. He hasn't posted in like six or so years. Dig some more. Found out he became Christian and left the furry fandom. How do I cope with this? Be happy for him. Have horrible acne since high school. Try multiple skincare routines. Get actual medication for my acne. Spend copious amounts of money on skincare product bullshit throughout the years. Visit my parents on Christmas and forgot to bring any kind of soap. Use an old bottle of Head and Shoulders for everything. Oh, hey, Anon, your acne's looking better. Keep using Head and Shoulders on my face for the lols. My face won immediate results. The skincare industry is the modern equivalent of snake oil. That face when no post-apocalyptic girlfriend. She will never save you from mutant raiders by way of introduction. She will never whore herself out to get enough food for the both of you. She will never let you knock her up to help repopulate the planet. Why live? Anon, you can't expect women to approach you. You need to talk to women. Anon, you can't cold approach. That's creepy. Also, if you're a Chad, women will approach you, lol. Anon, you need to work out and get fit. Height doesn't matter. Anon, you're too fit for your height. Anon, women don't care about looks. Anon, you need to mew. Lol, Anon, all you need to do is shower and smell nice. It's so fucking tiresome. No matter what you do, there's always another issue and nobody can have an honest fucking conversation with you. Be me, normal guy. Talked to a cute finboy on Discord a year ago. Get emotionally attached. He deletes his account, but he told me his Insta and tried to text him there. Never see my messages and I give up. Occasionally think about him and never forget. He texts me back one day, recently. Says he's a really bad person and saw my text now. I say it's fine, pretend I nearly forgot who he was. Tells me he slash she transitioned into a girl in that time. She asks if I still want to take him on Valentine's. I had asked him out previous year, but she saw that message later. I say yeah, sure, just to see her reaction and she's genuinely happy. Gaslights me into changing my university and moving over to his state and I say I'll think about it. But her state is expensive as fuck, and that university doesn't offer stuff I want to do. What do I do, fellow Anons? Turns into a woman. Now manipulative. Like clockwork. YouTuber halfway through his 68-hour essay, A Brief History of Rocks in the Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Background music suddenly stops. Screen goes black. Haha, <laughs> oh my god, I'm just now reading this name for the first time, and I just realized I have no idea how to pronounce it. Haha, <laughs> so sorry, I'm gonna butcher this name. Tries like three times to pronounce the name, with each pronunciation more and more ridiculous. Gives up and says, Haha, I'll just flash the name up on screen. If only there was some kind of resource the poor YouTuber could use beforehand to look up the pronunciation of literally any word ever and have the word actually spoken back to him so he knew for absolute sure that he was right. I fucking hate YouTubers so goddamn much. Why are you watching video essay slot, bro? Something in the background when I eat or play video. You get to do that? You're so fucking lucky. Only when my mommy lets me. Be me. Extremely boring because of autism. Try messaging women I know IRL and online, but I make them all cringe and ghost me. Give up and try twinks my age on Grinder for a semblance of human connection. They also get bored of me and ghost me before we ever meet up. How do you cope with autism ruining everything? Why would you think twinks on Grinder are there for conversations, LMAO? My college classmate I befriended is trying to make me in a gay relationship with him, and it took me months to figure this out. I met this person in my calculus class, and he pointed out my Warhammer 40k pen, saying he liked them and he wanted to know the lore. I explained it into detail why I love Oryx, and they are my favorite. He nods his head and affirms my affinity for them by going, yeah. At this point, we began hanging out, and he began engaging more, but in a more affectionate tone. He started getting me gifts of various fantasy work and games I enjoyed that I told him, which I thought was very sweet, free stuff. Anytime we hang out, he keeps really close to me and sometimes lays his head on my shoulder and refers to me as babe and honey to get my attention, which I thought was weird at first, but grew fine with over time. I never had many friends, so I don't know how friend bonding works. At a certain point, we began hanging out almost every single day. We would just vibe at my apartment and I'd play video and he would watch me or be looking on social media on his laptop or studying. This became a regular activity for us and he would make food for me as well. I never asked him, he only began doing it for some reason. Furthermore, the more I was around him, the more I began behaving like him and consuming the same media and content he was. Why was I watching Vampire Diaries? However, the instance that proved to me he was more interested in me than I believed was when he slept over at my apartment. I don't have a couch, so he slept in my queen-sized bed with me. I woke up to find him wrapping his arms around me and licking me a couple of times and trying to whisper something very lovey-dovey. 
It freaks me out and I told him to leave very calmly. He's now sending me a bunch of texts telling he's sorry and he's not mean that. I like this and I don't know anything about sexuality and sex. T, 22 year old virgin male. Somehow getting groomed at 22, lol, LMAO.